Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at my setup. We're going to go over all the gear that I'm using. I'm going to talk about like what type of gear I have and also why I use it. I'll probably come with some recommendations here and there, what I'm using the most, what I find the most useful uh, for the type of work that I'm doing. So I'm an AI engineer doing computer vision, AI, a lot of research and so on. So I have a lot of different kind of gear. And this is also like what I spent my money on. Um, you're probably familiar with my, like my, my setup, my background here, as I have from my YouTube channel. Um, then I have my microphone. I have some different kind of like computers that I'm going to talk about. I have this chair here. It's also pretty nice. Uh, so this is one of my recent investments. So this is a Herman Miller in body chair. And this is actually like a, a really good chair. I'm working from home, so I spend most of my time, maybe like 12, 10, 10 to 12 hours every day in this chair. So it's a very good investment, uh, especially just for like getting a good like body placement, sitting good when I'm actually like at the desk and so on. I also have a, a standing desk so I can adjust the height on it. Sometimes I'm standing up uh, while I'm working because again, it's, it's really hard and it's actually like really exhausting to just sit at the same, same desk in the same chair like four, 10, 12, 14 hours a day. So this is my setup here. I have two main monitors. I also have another one over here uh, behind, but it's only for, uh, for gaming once in a while. And I also have my MacBook over here to the left. We're going to go way more into details of like, why do I even have like two computers? I have different kind of like monitors because I'm using them for uh, different purposes. I also have two keyboards here and also have like two, two mouses that I'm using. Uh, so I have the other one over here to the left, but I'm actually like, um, actually like have a double setup. So I'm using the, the Logitech ones here and also the wireless ones for my MacBook. I'll just go over here and grab the mouse. So this is the other mouse that I'm using. This is um, an, an ergonomic um, Logitech MX Master. So I'm using both the keyboard and also the mouse. So those are wireless. I mainly use those for, uh, for my MacBook Pro that I have over here. So I have a MacBook Pro 16 inch, um, 16 inch M2, M2 chip. So it's really good. I'm using it for editing, doing most of my work where I don't need like the GPU. And then I also have my um, Windows computer over here to the right where I have my um, awesome computer vision AI rig where I have my 4090 graphics card from NVIDIA and also a pretty decent CPU from Intel. So I'm using the Intel i9, the new 13th generation. So I have different kind of like keyboards. I, I mainly use like, I, main, I mainly use my Logitech keyboard here, the wireless one for my MacBook, I'm mainly using that for pretty much like all the work I'm doing if I'm just like editing videos, um, writing some basic code and so on. And I, then I'm only using my Windows and I also have like Linux here as dual boot. Um, so I'm only using those if I actually like need to use CUDA or else I prefer Mac and the Mac OS. So yeah, I, I, I pretty much, I also do a lot, like a lot of code here on my Windows computer and my Linux computer because again, I'm an AI engineer. I do a lot of research. Uh, research. A lot of the models, they only work in Linux environments and so on. So it's just easier to work with where I can't really do that on a Mac. It doesn't have like enough um, computing power and also it doesn't provide CUDA from NVIDIA. So again, I also have like the second keyboard here. And the reason I have two keyboards is basically because um, this keyboard here and the mouse, it doesn't work on Windows. It's very laggy and so on. Uh, so that's why I'm using like two different keyboards. Sometimes I also have both computers connected at the same time. Um, and then I have my two monitors. They can both be connected to my Windows computer and also my MacBook. Um, then I can basically just switch down here in the input source. I can go like between the different kind of like sources. And then it's pretty easy to swap between the two computers if I'm doing some work in, in parallel, working, waiting for some training on one, uh, one computer or some rendering on the other computer. Some of the other gear that I have, I also have my iPad iPad Pro here. Uh, I mainly use that in university. I'm not really using it anymore. It was really helpful for me. I really enjoyed it in university uh, because you can basically just like write notes on it. You can just grab the pencil, write some notes down. You can both type here. Um, the, the main problem with this one here, if you're a computer science engineering student, if you want to write code, it is not good at writing code on. You can do it in Google Colab, for example. So I used, if I actually did some coding, I used Google Colab. You can some kind of like do code in Google Colab, but it's mainly for note taking. I'm not really using it anymore right now unless I'm doing some, some drawings, visualizations, just, just to wrap my head around some work that I'm doing, or if I want to set up like a system, visualize stuff for, for people. Um, but it was really helpful in the university and I definitely recommend it. Like if you're studying, if you're taking a lot of note, notes, attending classes, I definitely recommend the iPad. It is also working nicely together with all the other like 
um, Apple products in the ecosystem. Yeah, so I also have the cameras. You guys uh, probably wonder like sometimes what cameras I'm using, like just for the standard computer vision, um, optic detection videos that I'm creating. I'm just using a, a budget uh, webcam, so this is a Trust 1080p camera. So this is just uh, the cheapest webcam, like full HD webcam out there. You can't really like utilize, you don't even like need more. Sometimes we only use like 480p in our videos, but this can go up to, uh, to 1080p. So it's not a, like a, a very expensive camera that I'm just using for these basic computer vision applications and so on. We're also going to create some new videos on this channel. Um, I'm, I'm actually really excited about that. So this is the set camera. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it, but it is actually like a stereo camera. And then it also does really good depth estimation. It can also do 3D optic detection. It can track optics around, calculate the velocity of the optics, the actual like sizes of the optics in the boundary boxes. Uh, you can create like custom optic detectors and so on. It does tracking, mapping, like this is just an awesome camera, but it's also like on the high end. But I'm really excited to create videos about this in the future. And I really think that you guys will enjoy it because this is actually like taking uh, computer vision, AI closer to, to act like creating production applications and projects which you guys are, are probably um, interested in. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the camera that, cameras that I'm using in the videos. I also have my Apple Watch Ultra here. I use that day to day on a daily basis, also when I'm working out, so also really enjoyed that. I have my HomePod Mini over here to the left. Sometimes I'm listening to music, also if I'm editing some videos. Um, I also have my AirPod Max over here, also really good. I, I really just enjoy like all the Apple products, like they're, they're, they're working nicely together. I don't have to spend time on like figuring out like why does this not connect. I can switch between my devices and so on. So I use, I use a lot of these devices here on a daily basis and, and that's why I just like this um, Apple ecosystem. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll rather like spend some more money on X like upgrading to, to the best gear because I'm using it like all the time. I'm using it pretty much like all day. My computer, um, my computer, my microphone for different kind of like calls, videos, courses. So yeah, most of my gear is on the high end. So usually I just go for like the, the most, not, not the most expensive gear out there, but the gear that I feel that is, that is most suitable for me because I use it a lot every day. So over the, over the years, I've actually like gone with some decent GPUs, some decent uh, hardware, both for my keyboards, my computers and so on. And then at the end, I still end up upgrading it to the best because if you, if you use something for 10 to 12 hours, like every day, it also lasts for a long time. So over the years, it will just, it will, you will, you, your return on investment will just be like way higher compared to like going with a lower budget computer and so on. So at the end of the day, I'll definitely recommend you guys just going with what's best for you. If you use it on a daily basis and you use it a lot, don't even consider like going for, for something lower because it will not be worth it at the end. And sometimes like things are just scaling up and you will just regret it at the end and you will end up act like having to buy the other upgraded gear either way. So now you've been seeing most of what I use for my, my daily work. So day to day, what I'm using for like computer vision, deep learning, researching stuff. And then I also have my YouTube on the sidelines. So I'm doing a lot of YouTube videos, courses, and all those other things. So that's what you guys are mostly familiar with. So we will now go over the gear that I'm using for recording. And as you guys have probably um, seen, I've upgraded the gear a lot over the last six months to a year and also just the quality of my videos. The recent videos here, I put in a lot more effort into the act like editing. I'm trying to build like a team around it where we act like just try to make as good content as possible um, for you guys, both video wise and also just the context, context wise um, regarding like the quality, the theory behind all the things, just creating more knowledge into the videos and so on. So yeah, let's go over the YouTube setup that I have. So I have my LED panels up here. They're really good. Like you can, you can adjust the, the light or like the brightness and also um, also the white balance. So that's that's really good. Um, I really enjoy those. Um, I have, I'm only having those on when I'm actually like recording, uh, recording my videos. I have this microphone. You guys have seen that. This is the best microphone out there. Like even like musicians use this microphone. This is the Shure. Um, SM7B, really good microphone. I, my videos have become like way better after I have upgraded to this microphone and I even regret not buying this microphone here just from like the first video out there. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing the quality just keep increasing over the next couple of months. 
and also over the years. I also use these microphones here, so I have a microphone up here, which is the DJI wireless microphone. It comes with a pretty nice cage, there's uh, two microphones and also a receiver. Um, so I really enjoy using those if I'm just recording these types of uh, vlogging videos as well. Either if it's house tour, just sitting down talking about like my YouTube journey, freelance work, how can you get into it. Um, and also just my, my, my day in a life videos. So I'm starting to engage more with you guys creating these vlogging videos just to keep it a bit more entertaining having these videos where we both have like knowledge from the tutorials and also these more like entertainment relaxed videos where you guys can come in, see how I actually like work, like what type of gear I'm using, try to get some inspiration for you guys as well. So maybe it can help you guys out, like just seeing some of the things that I'm using, maybe they can be useful for, uh, for you as well. I also just have my Jetson Nano here and my Raspberry Pi. So I have a couple of projects where I'm using these boards, mainly using the, mainly using the Jetson Nano here. It's really good for just testing out things if you're running some basic AI models for optic detection and so on. You can't really do that on the Raspberry, it doesn't have enough processing power, but you can use it for setting up some basic image processing if you have a server or just have some sensors that you want to connect to it, creating some, some low budget applications um, with GPIO. If you do some more processing, um, it's really nice to use the, the Jetson Nanos. They're, they're relatively cheap compared to the performance that you get and you can create some really nice applications and projects around it. So yeah, that's, that's mainly my YouTube gear, like my microphone, my LED panels. I also have a Panasonic Lumix S5 camera. I also recently upgraded that. That is an awesome camera and you guys can see the quality difference in my videos. Again, we have the light panels here. I have my logo, so this is my LED logo. It's also pretty nice. So this is homemade. I have done all the soldering and so on. So I really like that. I think it has a nice touch in the background from my videos. Um, we have the chair, you guys are familiar with that. We had some, have some carpets on the floor, um, the lights. I also really like these posters here, like these metal posters from Displayed. So we have SpaceX, Starship, SkyDrive, so Skydive. So I'm also a big fan of, um, I'm also a big fan of Tesla, uh, SpaceX, just all the things that they're doing. They have some really nice engineers and the work and research that they're doing is just like on top of everything else. So I really enjoy following that as well. So thank you guys for watching this video here. It has been really nice to show you guys my gear. I hope it can help you get some ideas of like what I'm actually using, just getting behind the scenes of like how I work, how I'm creating my videos and so on, both with the gear that I'm using. We're going to create more videos about this in the future. I want to engage more with you guys, have it a bit more entertainment style together with my tutorials and also the courses that I'm creating. I also enjoy creating these videos here. And again, feel free to drop down in the comments if you have any ideas, if you have any recommendations, or if you have any questions about some of the gear I'm using, why I'm using it, why I've bought it, and what my considerations um, was when I, when I was actually considering it. Because again, when I'm buying all my gear, I consider it like I both have all the pros and the cons and so on. So feel free to ask down in the comments or else I'll see you next week, guys. Bye for now.